Okay, so welcome everyone to the Stream Music Community Meeting on June the 13th, 2024. So, uh, first of all, um, before starting the usual and regular agenda, where I can just remove the recording part, uh, I would like to, to say that uh, we are trying to kind of have more rotation on uh, who is going to lead the Stream Music Community Call. So uh, it will be me today, but as you can see here on the dock, it will be uh, another maintainer who is uh, Lukas Kral the next time. And then we will try yeah, to keep this way, not just having uh, Jakub uh, driving the call. So at this point, let's start with our regular agenda, unless anyone has something to raise before starting. It seems not. So we have PR and issues. Uh, let me see. The first one is a pull request. I guess it was added by Fede. Fede is on the call, right? Yes, yes, it was me. Uh, so that's just an improvement in the tracing log and also an improved error message when you have authorization error when calling cruise control. So minor a minor improvement so just waiting for i guess it's just done that needs to review it okay so are you going to tag tom on the pr uh it was already added as a reviewer yeah five days ago more or less yeah so yeah if you want you can tag tom it was targeted by jacob mm -hmm. uh so that if you need this review, uh, we can move forward with this one. Okay. Thank you. And the next one, it's still you, Fede. Yes. So this is just some refactoring to uh break down the batching topic controller into a, a set of handlers in order to to have it focus on the reconciliation logic instead of uh request to external services uh so it's, it's just refactoring i'm not changing any logic here um and again we, i'm waiting for tom's feedback on that okay so same thing i guess you are going yes to, going yeah to talk. Tom for getting a review. And finally, this one is, I guess, open since more time, right? Two weeks ago. Yeah, so this issue has been open for two months now. Um, and the last comment from the user that proposed to address it uh, is two weeks ago. So I don't know. Uh, I can take it if it's not able. Uh, it's not replying to latest comments. I don't know. Yeah. So it seems that uh, the latest comment was two weeks ago from the user, right? And then yeah. you made some other comments, even from Jakub. Um, you also already tagged the user last week. Yeah. Uh, to be honest, I will try to tag again, saying that uh, if yeah is not able to proceed with this, you will take care of it because it's something that should be fixed. Yeah, that that, that was the last line on on this comment you are on. Uh, so I can ah, okay yes right. again. Yeah, let's wait at least for another week. You commented last week, right? At least mm -hmm. uh, I will leave uh, one week more and uh, not waiting for the next community goal, to be honest, which would be in two weeks. Okay. Um, yeah, just to give more time. Otherwise, I would move on. I, okay. I would maybe wait like him once more and wait one week and then proceed. Yeah. Okay, fine. So,
Okay, so any other PRs or issues that someone want to, wants to raise? If not, I see here one proposals, one proposal. And this is the one from Kate about decoupling the CA and the ent entity certificate management. I think that this PR has already got some comments. So Kate, yes. uh, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I did this just as more of like an FYI. So if anybody looked at this already, um, just to let you know that I pushed an update the other day. So the original proposal that I had involved um, some of the changes where we would change the component reconcilers to do some of the certificate rolling updates. Um, but it's now slightly different to that. It's done at a higher level. But yeah, it's just a kind of, if anyone's interested in the certificate part and you have looked previously, just an awareness that I've pushed a fairly big change to the proposal. So do you have another look if you haven't done already? But I know a few people have already looked again. Okay, so I also assume that you addressed the, the comments from the previous reviews, right? Yes, yeah, as far as I'm aware, I've just addressed everyone's comments. Yeah, okay. Okay, so uh, who is interested into this or uh, all the other yeah maintainers or um, contributors who already had the reviews, please do it again. Thanks, Kate. I don't see any other proposal unless someone wants to, yeah, to raise one. Otherwise, the best part of the call, the issue triage. So this time I uh, kind of decided, um, so I, thought that it was useful not having just a triage for the operator. I know it's going to be maybe more work, but anyway, we have more other components on the, in the stream Zorg, right? And um, in this case, I just added one for the HTTP bridge uh, to be triaged. Uh, if someone else, I don't know if Marco from OAuth, uh, if uh, Kate from the Kafka access operator has anything that wants to be triaged, uh, feel free to, yeah, to edit this document for the next calls so that we can triage issues across all the components that we have in stream and yeah, not just one, the ones in the operator. <clears throat> um, yeah, say that, let's start with the usual ones from the operator. And the first one, Yeah, so this one, it seems that in the Grafana dashboard from Kafka Mirror Maker, we have one of the metrics coming from Mirror Maker 2, which is showing uh, the target with all this information about the group, the topic, and the partition on the same line as just one field. So I was following the discussion between Jacob and this community user who was uh, able kind of, so the problem was uh, in the the filter of the GMX exporter. And after the suggestion from Jacob, in order to split all these parts uh, from the metric, um, in the end, uh, the, yeah, the community user was, was able to, um, to have all the information split here. But uh, you can see much better. I already took a look. He opened a PR for that. Uh, yeah, where all the information are now split and not anymore in just one string. Um, so yeah, it uh, it's looking for uh, reviews from maintainers in general. Uh, of course, I tagged Jakub because he was involved in the discussion. Um, from a triage point of view, I would assume that uh, yeah, we can uh, just remove the triaged label because it's going to be fixed by that PR. Yep, agree. I will take a look on the PR. Thank you. Yep. OK, 
Okay, so let's just remove the needs triage label. Oops, my bad. Okay. Next one, these craft migration uh, issues. So yeah, uh, there was a user here who wasn't able to run the migration uh, while using uh, uh, the ephemeral uh, storage uh, for controllers. So uh, in the end, uh, it was something that was fixed in the, the new coming version. So I, was, uh, I did some tests and uh, 041 release uh, is now fixing uh, the, the, the issue. Of course, one thing that can't work is uh, having a migration where you have um, one controller using ephemeral because when you are uh, syncing from the Zookeeper metadata stuff and then you roll your uh, controller uh, at some point of the migration because it's ephemeral, it's going to lose all the metadata that that it synced from uh, Zookeeper. So it can work uh, with ephemeral on uh, controllers, but you cannot have just one controller. Um, and it's stated in the documentation now, uh, but I was pinging the user to try 041 last week. Um, I haven't got any answer from uh, any reply from him. So I don't know, I would say let me, let's close the issue, tagging again the user saying, uh, if it's not fixed for you in 041, feel free to reopen it again. Yeah, I agree. And also regarding the ephemeral storage, I know that you uh, added the documentation around that. Yeah. And also it was discussed that it should be somehow blocked or it should throw some status in the in the Kafka custom resource when uh, yeah, users would like to do the migration, but they will use the ephemeral storage. Well, Is actually the, the in the end, well, no, actually yeah. in the end, the, 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 the decision was uh, taking the usage of ephemeral storage because the migration works. I tried with the different uh, numbers of replicas and controllers using ephemeral storage. Uh, it doesn't work only if you have just one controller with ephemeral storage for the reason that I just explained, because you are losing the metadata yeah. sync from Zookeeper. So we are not a kind of blocking the user anymore. Uh, I closed that PR, right? Um, and uh, well, actually I didn't open the PR. I had the code on my side, but uh, we decided to go in a different way, but the documentation was updated. To, to make aware people that one controller ephemeral cannot be a way to migrate. Okay, so even for the one replica or the uh, one replica of the controller, it doesn't make sense to have some kind of warning message. I mean, yeah, it, I guess it's just additional check, but maybe it yeah. will be easier for the users to see that yeah, it will not work and block the somehow the migration to yeah, pre just... prevent the an well, another I don't know additional questions it... about it. Yeah, I know. Uh, it was uh, not so trivial code to make it working, to have the warning because of uh, <clears throat> how we are checking the storage. It's in the node pool part. Right now it's checking uh, the JBOD sizes and the number of JBOD disks. And this is where I was adding the ephemeral one. Um, I have to double check on the, on the discussion that we had. Um, I don't remember actually uh, to leave just the documentation that it was enough. Yeah, okay, but I can check the PR. We can if... even leave this open and and discuss again. Yeah, maybe it will be useful to discuss if it makes sense or or not.
So do we want to have this open and maybe discussing again next time uh, when maybe Jakob is, uh, is joining? Yeah, maybe yes. I think creating a new issue or something like that doesn't make sense. So ah, maybe okay. we should keep this open and yeah, discuss it on the next community call. For the for the warning. This way. Yeah, thanks. Okay, let me refresh. Uh, next one. Yeah, so the thing here is that, um, yeah, Yagum raised a good point. We have um, we are exporting a lot of metrics from Kafka, uh, from Zookeeper, and uh, just some of them are uh, kind of uh, reflected in the Grafana dashboards. So in the end, uh, uh, exporting all these metrics uh, uh, also drives to issues when it comes to I don't know updates on GMX exporter which is introducing some changes and then we have to change the way we are configuring the matrix exported uh, in our examples and in general we are providing examples with the, a lot of metrics that maybe I don't know doesn't make sense to all the users or they don't need so uh, yeah Jacob here one mm, was raising if uh, it would make sense to have a kind of uh, deeper look to the metrics uh, and uh, exposing uh, a smaller group of them. So try to kind of research what are the ones that we want to really expose in the Grafana dashboard that we have today, the ones that we really need in order to reduce, I guess, the metrics surface um, Yeah, in our examples and, of course, adapting to our Grafana dashboards. So I can understand it's a it's a kind of an investigation task. Uh, it's a kind of uh, yeah. I don't see it as a high priority, uh, but maybe something that would make sense to investigate at least, or keeping open and I don't know maybe needs for help or something like that. I, mean, I, I don't know if really the goal is to reduce the number of metrics. I mean, uh, I, mean I need to reduce the list to see, but uh, uh, I would be careful in saying we want to re reduce the number. I think we want to make sure that the one we collect are meaningful. Uh, I think it. Um, I think comparing the list we collect with the list with graphs is not necessarily very meaningful. You typically always collect a bit more than a graph. In case something happens, you can then pull and look at uh, additional metrics. Uh, but typically, you don't want to create, uh, you don't want to have uh, uh, dozens of dashboards in graph, uh, thousands of metrics, right? It doesn't make sense in those cases. But I think collecting them is still useful. Uh, so, uh, but part of the metrics report or work, I think. I will be, or we will be reviewing, um, or at least proposing like a, a, a new example configuration. Uh, and I, I guess at this point, we can align both of them if we want to. So if I got you right, you're saying we are exposing a lot of metrics. So of course, uh, a lot of them are not used in the Grafana dashboards. But anyway, you no, have no. them exported in Prometheus and you, they could be useful even if, uh, so in some cases, right? Yeah, that's what I would recommend the users to, you You never graph everything you collect. You typically collect with a bit more. Uh, you don't collect everything. Obviously, it doesn't make sense. There are thousands of metrics. Uh, there's a huge performance cost in having everything. 
Uh, I'm not quite sure what we have today, but I think it's, I mean, my mining was fairly reasonable on the set we were collecting. Uh, I'm not super familiar, I'm not look, I looked at it closely. I'm not also looked at what we graph, um, but uh, I wouldn't uh, uh, basically uh, label this thing as reduce the number of metrics collect. You know? <laughs> Maybe maybe we'll end up reducing by re reviewing, but that's not how I would approach uh, this issue. That makes and sense. The metric exporter is uh, is uh, is going into the same direction, right? So exposing kind of more metrics. Well, not more. We'll we'll have to decide exactly what set we want to expose. I guess at this point we'll uh, probably align both of them. This uh, GMX. Uh, mechanism and the new matrix reporter mechanism. Yeah. So any other thoughts on this? If we want to keep as they are and uh, maybe reviewing this one when it's time for the matrix exporter to be here. Yeah, I think at least as where I, so I've only looked at the metrics in terms of connect. And the one thing I found was that there did seem to be places where we were um, not being that specific on which metrics we were exporting. And it also wasn't clear which metrics were being exported with the aim of them being graphed or alerted on or just because they wanted to be collected. So I wonder if um, it's worth looking at our metrics being collected from the point of view of a user to see if we can make it clearer even just in like comments in the configuration files or something of like which metrics we're expecting to graph and things like that um but i agree with michael that i don't think i i don't know what the answer is to like drastically restrict the number of metrics we're um exposing but certainly especially when the kafka exporter um stuff lands i think it would be useful like here, if you look at the kind of config, I, as far as I know, there's no sort of order to this or kind of, it took me quite a long time to work out whether the metrics I wanted were being captured or not when I was updating the graph. So I, th I think there's probably something here in terms of making it more user-friendly is what I think I'm trying to say. I think this probably needs the same uh, kind of work you did with Kafka Connect, right? You need uh, somebody that goes through the full list, uh, ensure that the dashboards are make sense a bit in the proper way. I mean, uh, you've, you've ported and made a lot of change to the Connect dashboard and uh, made it connected, and I think it's probably needs the same treatment. Yeah. yeah, I think the missing step, though, that this issue kind of tries to describe that I didn't do with Connect is I didn't review what we were currently exporting and work out whether there was a way to represent that that would make it clearer which metrics we were expecting to alert on and which ones we were going to graph on and also whether there were ones that could be restricted more because I think there are some of these patterns that are very free form and it might it might be that we actually don't need all of the metrics that they're referencing and I didn't do that. I don't think I ever, I don't think I removed the collection of any metrics when I did the connect work. And maybe I should have done, I don't know. I mean, here, just on the screen here, I can see that we collect all uh, percentile. You can see uh, backslash D plus uh, percentiles on line uh, 162. Yeah, or even the line you want. Uh, uh, I mean, in practice, you, I mean, from my experience, you don't collect all percentiles. You just typically uh, uh, select uh, a few that interest you, like, uh, uh, you know, maybe 50, 99, and 1999. Uh, in the Kafka, is like, uh, in some cases, there's like four or five different percentiles, and it uh, uh, really makes sense to collect all of them. <laughs> yeah, I think we might have been a bit um, like a maybe a bit too liberal with the use of wildcards in the pattern matching for the metrics was what I no noticed when I was doing the connect ones. And I think that probably could be improved. 
to be a bit more specific. Yeah, it looks like to me that we are kind of grabbing, uh, I would say, everything coming from Kafka. Uh, uh, well, not everything, there's more than that. Well, not doing much as a filtering. So the yeah. idea, now I am confused, the idea is try to shrinking or leaving as they are, in your opinion? Well, I don't know if we'll shrink. I mean, uh, the point is to review and make, decide whether it makes sense or not to collect all the time. But I think it boils down to an issue that we, we often debated is whether we want to be opinionated or not. I mean, this is absolutely not opinionated. It collects broadly a wide set of metrics. We don't really advise on uh, alerts or what to do with them. We just collect. Uh, if we want to review and make decisions and uh, we want our examples to be more opinionated, uh, then we can go through this list and decide of what to do, you know. But it looks like the example is very vanilla. We basically collect yeah, there is everything for, you know, we don't pick specific percentile, we don't pick specific uh, labels, we just uh, collect broadly. And, and maybe by being more opinionated or by uh, uh, maybe not, not not necessarily opinionated, but we could collect maybe more precisely things and that, that may end up reducing the number of metrics overall. Uh, but as I said, I, I don't think I, I would see or, or put this as a task of reducing the amount, it's more like reviewing and uh, advising or deciding, like using expertise to uh, gauge whether to collect or not. Because yeah, we I think some things, you know. <laughs> yeah, I think the key thing is, I agree with Michael that I don't think we should be only collecting the metrics that we're going to expose in the dashboards or alerts. I think there definitely should be a set of metrics that we aren't alerting on or graphing, but that we feel are useful to be collected and we should I, review whether that set is the is the set that we're currently exposing or whether there are ones that we should or shouldn't be including that we are already so the thing would be not shrinking to what we have on the grafana dashboard but maybe reviewing uh, understanding if there are metrics that we don't think are so useful or I don't know, used in the Kafka community by most of the users and having a kind of subset between what we have uh, in the Grafana dashboard and what we have now. So the entire kind of subset, having something in the middle. Yeah. I guess is how do you see those examples? Is it is it like a, a starting example, like a sample or is it something like here is uh, something we can, you know, if you pick this and run your same production, this should be, uh, uh, this is what we recommend you to start with, basically. Yeah, so at the beginning, uh, it was, uh, uh, the idea was, uh, yes, to provide examples with uh, a kind of baseline of the main metrics that could be useful to you to yeah to monitor in production of course having more metrics exposed by prometheus and then you can tweak your grafana showing these metrics or even you know changing the yaml and exposing something that we are missing but that was a kind of uh, yeah a kind of uh, starting point uh, a minimum configuration that we thought it was useful for production use case but still an example, so not something that, you know, we support or. So let's say that uh, the idea will be to review what we are exposing today. And it seems like there's plenty of room for improvement for sure. So I guess we could review and make, make a proposal on what to adjust. Uh, Let's not only compare what we collect today and what we graph is uh, uh, 
is first what we collect and what's available, and then what we collect and what we grab. It's both. Of them. So let's, I would say, let's keep this open so that we can discuss uh, with Jakub next time when uh, he will be here because he opened the issue. But I guess that for now, the consensus will be this one. Because yeah, reading his comments, he seems to be more leaning towards uh, let's make the example very more simple. So there's less risk or there's less cost for to maintenance. You know? Because he say, oh, some metrics may have changed, and you know, so it seems to be like, uh, you know, let's simplify it so there's no maintenance cost. That's how I read it. I mean, obviously, it's not on the call, so I, I don't want to put words in his mouth. And, I, and and my point is that I would view this very differently. <laughs> so. So sorry, Mikkel. Uh, does this comment make sense for you as I triaged, or that's what I I have got after the discussion, trying to to review, to investigate, and try to find a kind of middle ground between all the metrics uh, that we have today and what we are showing on the dashboards. But I guess that it needs more discussion with Jakub. Well, I, I wonder if... this is what he's, he's proposing, but uh, uh, I think it's slightly different from what I was proposing or what I would recommend doing. Well, but... he's kind of, uh, you know, suggesting, uh, I wonder if we should analyze the metric and export a smaller subset of them. Yeah, he seems to be wanting to simplify it to reduce because the its bullet points are saying there's a maintenance co cost with this. Uh, so it seems to be that we are on the same page, right? Well, I, I think we understand what he meant. Uh, yes, we agree on that, <laughs> but I don't think I agree with him. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so let's do this way. Let's wait for him and discuss with Jakub to, to get what he understands, so what he meant about this issue. Um, so let's keep this open and triaging again, triage it again. Next call when Jakub is here. Okay. Yeah, we can always do it async as well in the meantime. So if Mikhail, if you and I have thoughts, we can go share on the issue and then. I mean, we can also split the world in mean, uh, simplifying this uh, metrics for this pipeline and doing something different for the new uh, metric exporter. Yeah. yeah, well, and definitely this is, there's an opportunity to divide and conquer and not do like for example, like the connect pieces and the mirror maker and Kafka, like we don't have to have the same person do all of them. Yeah. So Mikael, I would say feel free to comment here if you want to get more feedback from Jakub so that we can have a better understanding the next time we are going to triage. Okay. Thank you. Sorry, I'm very opinionated on this topic. So. <laughs> You are the expert on the metrics right now. Okay, so if no more comments, do this, this one. So as far as I understood, this user <coughs> is adding uh, plugins, so customizing uh, his Kafka Connect uh, images but then having some clashing between libraries, maybe bringing by the, the, the plugins what, with what we already have in the Kafka Connect uh, or in the Kafka images. So he was looking for some documented list of the runtime provided libraries uh, so that uh, he knows what's going on. 
but to be honest, Jacob raised a good point about, yes, we don't have something like that. Uh, all the reference about our third part libs are here, so you can get them from GitHub. And we also provide the SBOM files. So I think that we are places where uh, this information could be get. So from my point of view, I don't think that we need the documentation uh, where we have to update every time we are going to, you know, upgrade a version. Uh, we already have a lot of places where you can get this information. Yeah, I would not write anything special for that. Any objection? Uh, does it make sense? Yeah, looks good to me. Thanks. Okay. And I guess the last one, yes. This is still Jakub opening a issue around this test to be flaky. Is there, uh, where, here, there is a Lukas Maros, someone on the call? Only you, Lukas? Uh, yeah, so the ITs are not exactly our part of the expertise, but I can take a look at it. Thank you. Okay, and it comes to the end of the operator triage. Yes, this one is still open, still open. Uh, now, as I say, I have just one from the HTTP bridge. Um, well, it's uh, a request from a user, it's uh, an announcement. Uh, when you produce messages using the HTTP bridge, you, you know, you have, you are using open API, you have a format of the producer record in a JSON format where you can specify the key, the value and the headers, but you cannot specify the, the timestamp. Uh, and the same when you are going to consume, which is something that instead you have in the general Java, Kafka, consumer and producer API. So, uh, yeah, the user was asking for this. I would say that it makes sense to have something like this in order to kind of have the same that you have with the, the mm, Java or in general Kafka API. So to me, it makes sense yeah, to, to implement this. That looks to me as well.
Okay, so um, I am not sure if um, if it's a good start for people starting on the bridge, but maybe we can try to add an help wanted because anyway, I'm not sure we are, it's higher priority for us. Unless yeah, let's keep here. help wanted. I guess it's not that good start. I don't know how much uh, changes are needed. Well, it has to be but... changed in the open API and uh, yeah, handling the timestamp internally. So yeah, maybe the implementation will be bigger than we expected. So let's keep the help wanted and. Okay. So we are at the end of triage. <clears throat> Is there any other business? It seems not. So thank you everyone for joining and see you in two weeks. Thanks, Paolo. Bye. Bye.